Yes, General. Let me see what you have. That's everything. Now all you need is a little quiet time with the workbench. Welcome here, Jedi. Kära Nana Gundoso, Remina Kelrakta Guru Katpada. Kära Tora Pada no ringa till kamerada till att fibo nu buda bitterana cheni rara. Kära Nana Gundoso, Remina Kelrakta Guru Katpada. Kära Tora Pada no ringa till kamerada till att fibo nu buda bitterana cheni rara. Kära Wana Jun Konata Devera Guno Antuna. Dai rinto runka vreka repa banala ranchinga. Tera che a wemeno toto rere seni senten. grows tiresome. Unnecessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of hostilities.
I yield, Master. It is as I heard through the Force. My life for yours. You must. The alternative is only another death. And I would rather die by your hands. I have nothing to offer you. Your strength is superior. It is as I felt. Now I've seen everything. This woman, she's a Miraluka. I didn't think any were left in this part of the galaxy. Yeah, they're a pretty secretive race. I heard that some of their kind become Jedi, but a Sith? That's, well, that's a new one. I'm not sure how you'd go about killing one. It'd be tricky. I heard they had a colony on the Midrim, almost halfway between Onderon and Dantooine. Then, it wasn't there anymore. The whole planet was wiped out. Nothing left alive. No one knows why. Well, it was a planet of her people. If they see through the Force, who knows? If they're all Force-sensitive, maybe they all saw something through the Force that we can't see. And they left before it happened. Or maybe it killed them. They claim to see on a higher plane than we do. You know, the whole force thing makes me nervous. Well, some of her wounds are pretty bad. Looks like she was already carrying her share of scars, though. I think she'll recover, yeah. You spared her. Boop. 
I did not believe you would. I am more concerned about what she will do when she recovers. Just be careful. Not everyone can be saved. something wrong at times I meditate simply close my eyes and listen it is quite calming I try to treasure these moments before the next crisis begins of course it would be my pleasure Try to treasure these moments before the next crisis begins. That is hardly surprising. What do you wish to know? I imagine in your travels of the galaxy you've seen many people. Faces tend to blur together after a time. That is hardly surprising. What do you wish to know? I am on a diplomatic mission. I am one of several tasked with attempting to contact any remaining Jedi and convince them to return to the Republic. No. It is something of a mystery why they would exile themselves as they have. It is not the way of the Jedi to vanish in such a way. Especially when the Republic is in need of them. I fear that there is something else at work. Something that we cannot see. Then again, perhaps the Jedi are hiding simply because so many people hate them these days. It is difficult sometimes for the Jedi to see such things, since much of it is rooted in human nature, and the Jedi are often removed from events of daily life, insulated. But the reason the Jedi Civil War was named such was because few in the galaxy can recognize the difference between the Sith and the Jedi. To them, they are both Jedi, with different philosophies. Forgive me, but there is something I must ask. In my study of the Jedi histories and the more contemporary records, I have heard tales of a Jedi who was exiled. You are that Jedi, but the records are somewhat evasive on why this was done. I wanted to discuss why you chose to leave the Jedi Order and accept exile. I see. And because you went to war, they cast you out? Do you have a record of this trial? Perhaps I shall examine it when I get the chance, with your permission. I appreciate your trust. Thank you. studied the hollow record of your trial. I am unsure what to make of it. I must confess that I was searching for some meaning beyond the records. A reason for why one would leave the Order. Yes, but exile is rare. And I have found it is not really something that the Order can enforce. Believe it or not, it was really your choice. I do not know. That is a question best answered by yourself. But it is you who made the choice to turn away, not them. I am not certain of it, but I believe it to be worth considering. You are correct. I am afraid I have not been entirely open with you concerning my past. If I look familiar, it is because we have met before, at the Enclave on Dantooine, many years ago. As on Coruscant, Force-sensitive children are taken to Dantooine as well, though it is done rarely and only with those they believe are destined to become Jedi Knights. It is the secret nature of the place. 
If you are not chosen by a master when you have come of age, however, then the path of the Jedi is denied to you. I met you on Dantooine, long ago, briefly. You taught us the ways of the Force, how to hear it sing within others, within the life around Dantooine. It is difficult to explain the difference between you and Master Vruk, but I think it is because he was knowledgeable, but not a leader, not a mentor. You were different, we could all feel it, and I knew that if I were to have a master, I would want it to be you. And then you went to war. Many Jedi went to war, and the Jedi Masters proclaimed that you were Jedi no longer. Atrus, the mistress of the Archives, was first among them. I knew at that moment that if you would no longer be a Jedi, then you must be correct. I realized I did not want to be a Jedi. Instead, I wished to follow your path. And in any event, there was no one to train me, even if I wished it. They all went to war as I grew past the age of acceptance. It is possible to forget the Force, you know. If you have not felt it strongly enough, then there is little to miss. But I never felt the Force as strongly as I did when I was with you. And so I decided to serve the Republic, study the Jedi teachings, gather them perhaps. It was important to me to understand the Jedi now that they were gone. I felt some part of you should be preserved, so that your lessons would not be lost. Perhaps. I still harbor doubts about the path I walked. It is not time, if there ever is a time. I am on a diplomatic mission. I am one of several tasked with attempting to contact any remaining Jedi and convince them to return to the Republic. You have? Where have they gone? And why? Like you? Curious. It is unlike the Jedi to vanish when the Republic is in need of them, and the Republic is more in need of them now than ever. Perhaps the Sith have learned from Malak's defeat and have chosen a different tactic. It is like them to strike from the shadows. This has Revan's mark in things. Yes, but there is much of Revan's legacy that was not undone in the Jedi Civil War. I suspect these assassins are one of them. Master Vandar spoke of these assassins in the Council Chambers. They were used before large assaults on planets and Jedi to weaken them. Yes? Is something wrong? That is hardly surprising. What do you wish to know? It is not time, if there ever is a time. 